Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm super happy that you're here and I cannot wait to do another review for you guys. And if you're new here, my name is Martin and I do perfume reviews, which means I talk about all types of fragrances, whether it's niche, designer, Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm here to talk about that. And of course, in this video, I'm going to talk about another fragrance. I'm going to talk about a Middle Eastern fragrance, which is supposed to be a dupe for one of my all-time favorite fragrances and uh, yeah so let's get started the fragrance i'm going to talk about is this one here baroque satin mood by maison alhambra and maison alhambra as far as i know is a middle eastern brand and they do a lot of dupes so not only by the bottle you can see that this is supposed to be a dupe for oud satin mood it is also by the sense of supposed to be a dupe and in my opinion i think it's really an amazing dupe and i'm gonna tell you why in a second but if you are not familiar with oud set and mood this is the fragrance here i think that this is really a masterpiece i think that this is actually one of the best fragrances in general especially from the house and i know a lot of people rave about and love bakura rouge 540 I'm one of them too. I actually prefer the X-Tray. I'm not really a big fan of the OG, but I love the Send DNA in general. So this one is completely different. And I think that, how can I say, this is a timeless classic because you have the rose, you have the oud, it's an oriental fragrance. And I think this is a fragrance for the elevated noses. So if you like a new joiner in the perfume community, or if you're not really used to this very refined fragrances you're probably not gonna like it but i remember the first time when i smelled it i didn't like it at all i felt like okay this smells like an old grandmother and i didn't like it i don't know but i only smelled it for once i didn't even really tested it on my skin but then a year later i tried this one again and again i gave it a try on my skin and i fell in love completely and this is also how i realized that my general taste has evolved and changed and i think this one really is something for people that enjoy high quality niche fragrances elevated fragrances and especially oriental scent dna's so this one here of course has the rose it has the wood as i already said and you have some beautiful velvet you have amber in here and you have a nice mixture of roses in general so to me this is a very fruity like nearly syrupy, fruity, but very floral scent as well. It smells like, how can I say, um, sugar-coated or sugary syrup-coated rose. And of course, the oud was very refined. I know sometimes oud can be very skanky, if I can say so, or just very just funky, but this one is not at all. I think that even if you are not a big lover of oud, you're probably going to still enjoy it, especially if you like floral fragrances and rose. So this one here, as I already mentioned, is supposed to be a dupe. And I just bought it because I felt like I want to have a fragrance that's at least very similar to Oud Mood. It's very expensive and I don't want to like over waste it. And since I'm an over sprayer, my thought behind it was like to get the OG, get a dupe and just mix and lay them together. And I ordered it, I tried it and I was shocked because it really is super close to the original. In the air especially you can barely smell a difference um the only big difference i feel like is that this one is not very um, deep or not as refined as the original but still you get that um wood satin mood vibes from this fragrance instantly and i feel like in the air if you wear it no one is gonna really see a difference plus this is really a long-lasting fragrance it's a beast mode fragrance i i'm shocked actually because i remember spraying it in the air leaving the room and then hours later i'm coming back and i can still smell uh, smell it in the air especially in clothing this stays for days and i also remember actually um refilling this one in a little bottle for a friend of mine because she wanted to test this one out and you know like while i'm spraying it in the bottle i got some sprays as well on my hands and all day at work, I could smell the scent. I was washing my hands several times and still, like, this is really, really strong. So you don't even have to overspray. I feel like I say that because I'm an oversprayer, but I would still go in with, let's say, six to eight sprayers. But usually when I overspray, I go in with, like, nearly 20 sprayers. You don't have to do it. I think you're going to choke up people. And um, I think this really 
just flourishes the scent in general if you don't overdo it and it leaves such an amazing siage. I think this is such a big compliment getter as well and I've never expected it because I remember wearing it and because when I got it like back then the OG and also this one here when I wore it instantly there were people around me that recognized me and they were like oh my god you smell amazing what is this and this is new because how can I say I do gravitate towards um, specific fragrances but on the other hand I also want to try out new fragrances and I think this is something that I don't really have in my collection or anything that smells like it and people realize that like my friends or my colleagues and they were like it smells very good but it's just something completely new and got a lot of compliments especially from people that were like usually you know there's some people that um, are very how can I say sensitive and then when they smell a specific fragrance even though it's a nice fragrance they just don't like it because it's too much and funny those people that are usually very sensitive they were the ones that said this smells amazing this is just wow whether it's the original whether it's the dupe both i think gonna get you the same effect has the same effect so as i already mentioned it's a long lasting scent this is really a big big plus especially for the money because i paid 30 euros not even i think 28 euros and you get 100 ml the og from oud set to move i have the 70 milliliter bottle the other one is 100 milliliter and you can get it for around 30 euros say it like that and i think it's the perfect unisex scent generally like middle eastern fragrances or oriental fragrances let's say like that that have like that rosewood combination i do think that it's very unisex you cannot go wrong with that i just think it just needs to fit your vibe but this one here is not a typical rosewood combination because of the fruitiness you get and it's very soft there's something nearly watery or aquatic about the scent whether it's it's the original i really when i talk about the scent i talk about both of the scents because to me there's no big difference as i already said it's just the complexity and the depth but from the scent there's no difference i tried to find out the notes and there were different websites mentioning different notes but i'm gonna stick to rose and oud vanilla definitely vanilla maybe some warm amber but mostly what you're gonna get is that fruity rose and i feel like i smell pear or lychee but it's really just a super fruity rose and as I already mentioned very unique because of that aquatic like essence or watery kind of essence very hard to describe just think of rain like rainwater on roses but then there's like this beautiful sweetness it's like nearly like syrup or like jam so yeah this is actually everything i wanted to say i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you've tried the fragrance tell me your thoughts Really, if you're looking for a nice tube for Oud Satamut, give this one a try. Don't worry about the longevity, at least on me, this is super long lasting. There is no way anyone out there can tell me this is not a long lasting scent. It's a beast mode fragrance, inexpensive, and I think great for a signature scent as well. If you're looking for a signature scent, this one is something you should try if you like Rose and Oud. So thanks for tuning in and hit the like button if you liked the video and see you soon for another review. Thank you.